This is 5 Eyewitness News at 6. Thanks, Rod. Thanks. Minnesotans know him as one of the founders of the group Soul Asylum. But Dan Murphy has another love, pin-up art from the 30s, 40s, and 50s, a rare collection that makes him one of five people making news. Ted. All right, Leah. In the early 80s, Minnesotan Dan Murphy founded the rock group Soul Asylum. 25 years later, the group continues to perform. But Murphy has another career, a world-class collector of original pinup art. Murphy has shown is, has a show on right now at the Red Wing Framing Gallery in Red Wing, and he's one of five people making news. I um, found myself with a lot of free time being on tour a lot, and kind of New York and Chicago and Los Angeles were the hubs where a lot of the stuff was created. And um, started looking up guys pre-internet and the phone book and stuff, and like that had. Um, art galleries and photo galleries and um, the first piece I bought of original illustration art was probably 1992 and it was in New York and it was a Rolf Armstrong pastel and then I just as you can see I got hooked. <laughs> How did you get interested so much into pinup art? Um, well I'm a guy <laughs> and um, it, for me it's more you're kind of representing a time capsule I kind of like to look at it historically like how women were pr portrayed and like the idealized vision, how it changed. And I guess that's like the, the book part of it. And also they're just colorful, they're bright, and they're beautiful. Is there some inherent and probably escalating value in this art? Uh, so far it's been absurd, the evaluation. Like an artist we have, Rolf Armstrong, when we used to get him, you know, used to see him go for five or 6,000 at auction. And recently he just sold a painting for $48,000. And that's within 10 years that I've been following this closely. And there's artists like Gil Elvgren, uh, one of his paintings are sold for $142,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not in the millions yet, but they're in the hundreds of thousands. And it's a really quick little window that people, I mean, people threw this stuff out 20 years ago. If the trend continues, um, when I'm 60, I'm not going to be working very much. You know that last picture was? That was Marilyn Monroe in her Norma Jean days. The Dan Murphy collection will be exhibited at the Red Wing Gallery until October 23rd, featuring not only the original pinup art, but the original calendars and magazines where they appeared because Brown and Bigelow was based here, the calendar company. That's why we have such a great treasure trove, apparently, of this art. The originals, then, of course, that were used to make the calendars. So, yeah, well. although, as he pointed out, Dan Murphy, gone are the days when you'd go find a nice painting in somebody's garage sale for 40, 40 bucks. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Pretty tough to find that. It's going to be easy to find cold weather, though. It's 